I was gonna put this Witcher news in my general sci-fi fantasy news video that should be coming out later today. I hope, but the Witcher news just became too huge to put in that video, so it's by itself. Sorry. My computer can only handle so big of a video right now. Okay, first, obviously, I will be talking about spoilers for season two of The Witcher, so if you don't want any spoilers for the second season of Netflix's The Witcher, please don't watch. So first, I want to talk about how Netflix's The Witcher is scoping out ex-Game of Thrones actors, and I don't blame them. Netflix? Treat them how they deserve to be treated. So there have been rumors that Marjorie's actress, Natalie Dormer, will be joining season two of The Witcher. What has started this rumor was a post of Natalie riding a horse and the caption, when you remember every day is basically a Saturday on The Witcher. Bring crew member of The Witcher and Natalie Dormer laughing, dancing, and riding horses. What role would she possibly play? I don't know. I would hope she would play a sorceress because I think she could absolutely kill in that role and she she's meant to be a bamf sorceress. Unfortunately, her representative was reached for a comment and they are denying her involvement, which doesn't necessarily mean she isn't involved because we've seen a lot of actors deny it until they were allowed to say it, but makes it a little bit less likely. I'm still crossing my fingers. I think she would be amazing as anything in season two of The Witcher. They're also picking up some special effects talent from Game of Thrones, specifically the people that worked on the White Walkers and some of the harder whites to do. So I'm really pumped and I know this is going to come across as being super judgmental. So I apologize, but this is also the internet and that's what people do on the internet. So I'm led to believe. Some of the season one creatures in The Witcher need a little bit of help with the special effects. Some of them were really, really bad. I'm not saying I could do any better. Hell no. But the fact that they're getting some talent that worked on Game of Thrones that did some of the best special effects ever, hell yes. Speaking of Game of Thrones, I know I've talked about in several videos now how Christopher, who was Tormund's actor, is playing Novellan in season two of The Witcher. I even have a lore video on Novellan in a video I think titled, This Absolutely Needs to Be in The Witcher. So needless to say, I'm, I'm really excited about it. But since I've already talked about him extensively, I just want to talk about a recent interview with Joey Beatty, who plays Jess Gear, and he talked about everything he's heard of Christopher. So Christopher went to a script reading for the episode he is going to be in, and everybody thinks he's absolutely amazing, and they were just floored by how good he was in the role. Which I always knew he was going to be perfect as Novellan, but... Keep in mind, Joey doesn't praise people like that all the time, so hearing him say that about Christopher and just how pumped up everyone is, it gets me more pumped up. Now what is even more exciting is we have our Verena cast, who is a vampire that is in love with Novellan, and Novellan is in love with her, and she is being played by the very beautiful Agnes Bourne. She seems so excited too, she just keeps putting up stories on social media about it, which just always warms my heart. And if you're not familiar with her character description that Netflix sent out, here it is. Beautiful, fragile, and vulnerable on the outside. When threatened, she is capable of brutal violence. There's something animalistic about her. I actually thought they would go for someone that looked a little bit more fragile, but... I'm assuming they're going to make her look incredibly fragile and dangerous with how they do makeup and costuming. I've seen some pretty amazing transformations. Also, I'm still really excited to see her just beat the ever-loving shit out of Geralt. And if you want to read about Novellan and Verena and that whole thing, it's in the flashback story, A Grain of Truth, which is in the prequel Witcher book called the last wish. I That's always a mouthful. I'm so sorry. So I covered in another video that Yennefer and Fringilla's story will pick up with them being captured by the squirrels after the battle at Sodden Hill, and that we'll see Philavandril and, as well, the most beautiful woman in the world. Which, they cast a, I believe, Britain top model absolutely gorgeous woman, so I think they, they picked well. However, there are now filming leaks that show that Ciri and Geralt are probably going to have to walk through the aftermath of the battle at Sodden Hill to get to the Witcher school. And I'm imagining 
on their way to the Witcher School is when they're going to encounter Novellan and his mansion. What adds to this is Henry Cavill and Freya Allen have been posting on social media and they're currently in Bourne Wood. And we're being told they're gonna have to actually walk through the corpses of dead Nilfgaardians. And their super sexy armor that people were pissed about when the leaks came out, I, I think a few days ago. And they were like, holy shit, I thought the showrunner Lauren Hisrick said she was getting rid of the shitty Nilfgaardian armor and it's like, can't, she can't get rid of them if she's shooting a scene as the aftermath of Sodden Hill. Like, why are you getting so pissed? I like how I stuttered there too. That's, that's how unbelievable fucking people are. She has to keep it accurate. They just can't have brand new armor. What are you bitching for? Stop it. Oh wait, this is the internet. Next, Lydia was cast and she is being played by Asha Ross and she's listed for episodes five and eight of season two. She's a sorceress and she works for Villaforts and actually is in love with him. And here's her character description from the casting call. Dark hair, almond eyes, bears the scars from an experiment gone wrong. Secretary and assistant to the master carries out a horrible deed. She is honestly the actress exactly how I thought Lydia would look, so I'm stoked about this. It's very rare. I say that when I've been just going all over Christopher and Novelle, and I just, Lydia, I think the actress, great pick. Lastly, let's talk about our new witchers and the witcher school that Ciri and Geralt are heading to. Now, unfortunately, Ciri and Geralt aren't going to be at the witcher school the entirety of season two. Obviously, they need to travel to the witcher school, which is when probably the Novellan storyline is going to happen because we know that's in the premiere episode. But as of right now, it appears that the witcher school is only going to be in about four or five episodes, so... Not the entire season, unfortunately. So we have four new witchers cast. First, Paul Bullion as Lambert, one of the last witchers to be trained at Car Morhan. Notice he is a super sexy redhead. He also plays a witcher that is a little snippy and enjoys the pleasures of the world. And he's kind of an ass, so I guess a redhead. His official Netflix description is, a tall, sharp-tongued warrior inclined to give in to pleasures like food, sex, and booze, but trustworthy. Now what has me really jazzed about him is Lambert has brown hair in the books and you'll notice that Paul has red hair. So I'm really, 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 really hoping they let him keep his red hair. So sexy. Thu Ramosin is going to play Eskil and Eskil and Geralt are very good friends and they grew up together at Kar Morhen, even going through the trials at the same time. Interesting they got such a handsome man to play him. I mean, most people in this show are attractive and and television in general. But some think him and Geralt look alike in the books, so it's interesting just how far they went with that. Eskel's actor actually recently posted showing his trailer and titled it Let's Go Witcher. And don't get too excited about the number, it's just his ID. Also, he got a full body cast, so I'm not trying to frighten anyone, but I think he's the one that gets torn up by the Leshen in season two. By the way, Eskils and Lambert's actors appear to be getting on fabulously, and it has me so excited. Next, Yasuna Tour has been cast as Cohen, a warrior type, deadly with a sword, charged with training a young apprentice, easygoing and fun. That young apprentice is obviously Siri, and I find it funny that he's so attractive, and I wonder if they're gonna scar him up like he is in the books and make him have a beard just to be ashamed of the marking and scarring. I don't know. I think the actor looks really good without a beard, but I guess that wouldn't stop them from having him grow one. Also, interestingly, he was trained at the school of the Griffin and not the school of the wolf, like the other witchers that are at the school of the wolf in season two. <laughs> Lastly, we also got Vesemir cast, and that is Kim Bodnia. I'm not too stoked on him. I wanted Mark Hamill, but whatever. He's a father figure to Geralt. He trained Geralt when he went through the Witcher School, Car Morhen, and uh, was a fencing instructor. He is also going to help Siri, but he's going to do more of the mental than the physical because he is quite old. He's the oldest most experienced witcher around, so 
he's getting up there and he'd prefer the younger witchers to do the actual training of Siri. Physical training. All right, that is your Witcher news. Uh, general sci-fi fantasy news video will be coming out and plenty of other sci-fi fantasy videos. So make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more.